Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Since Cancer's gotta go last, then I guess that means Libra's next. All right, cool. Let me set some stuff aside. This reading will be Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For August, 2021. Resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose you with a message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine, Libra. I'm just throwing down cards. On a side note, I am a Libra rising, so... Again, I will try not to energetically vomit all over this reading. Anyway. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something... That might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Firefighting Heroes. But everybody's always welcome. And I appreciate you stopping by. Coming down to spend some time with little old me. I really do appreciate it. While you're here, it would be really cool if you hit the uh, subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button. If you want to, that'd be super cool. It all helps the channel. It is all greatly appreciated. Okay. Before I throw your cards down, Libra, there's a couple things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I just don't recommend it. I don't care if it's my cards or anybody else's. If it comes down to... It's going to mess up your universe if you make the wrong decision. Don't trust a deck of cards. Okay, go inside, sort it out for yourself. Always the best advice I give people. Two, if the cards, you know, if it's, not, it's not telling your story. If it's not vibing. If it's not resonating in any way, shape, or form. If it doesn't make sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. You can take with you what does resonate. That's fine. But don't force things to fit that just don't fit. Okay? All right, Heavenly Father, Mother, of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for August 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I have been given, and I ask that you help me use it to clearly and accurately bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Libra, why are you here? Six of Wands. You're declaring victory over something. Might be a return. I don't know. Might be a return. Get the rest of the cards on the table. Five of Wands in the past with a Knight of Swords versed. Oh, there was squabbles. Squabbles, fighting, arguing, disputing, and somebody got blocked. Either you blocked them or they blocked you. I don't know. It's the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Y'all ain't talking. We'll put it that way. Uh, the other half of this current energy. Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Oh my God. Got it going on, Libra. Got it going on. Nice. I like it. It's coming in. Nine of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. All of a sudden, I don't like it. But you got it going on. What's up with this? What's up with the lack of happiness and things not coming together in the future? I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. Universe, hmm. source, spirit, and guides. Can we get the energy of the person or situation that Libra is dealing with in August 2021? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The person or situation that they are dealing with in August 2021. Huh. Six of Cups reversed. Wheel of Fortune in the upright.
someone has salty feelings. Maybe closing out a cycle with a person that has salty feelings. All right, one more good shuffle, and we'll see what's up. Knight of Wands and Death. Metamorphosis, change for the better, evolution. Action being taken, possibly. We'll see. We'll see what comes out. King of Wands. My coffee cup seems to be in the way. We'll move that. King of Wands, Four of Swords. Mirroring each other. Ace of Swords reversed. No communication. The world. Temperance. Hangman reversed. Ah! Huh. What the snap, Libra? Huh. Alright. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. The King of Wands has shown up. I also have Sagittarius. I have Pisces. I have the World card. Really? Back to back to back. Clearing of the air. All right. Squabbling, fighting, they're laying something to rest after a broken heart. No communication, no communication after this breakup and communication. You're in separation. Duh. You're coming into your own, realizing you're the catch, declaring victory. They're closing something out moving forward. Something not manifesting, something not communicating. Wow. Throat chakra not working. What's up with that? <clears throat> okay. Can I get clarity? Universe, Source, Spirit, and Guides, give me clarity for Libra for August 2021, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the person or situation that they're dealing with. This is where Big Mama Sage gets nosy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Why is the Five of Wands here? What y'all fighting about? What y'all fight about? It gave me two. Two threes. Y'all know I hate threes. I hate threes. At least on my table. Especially when they come in pairs. What y'all are fighting about? There could be a third party involved. Just saying. Usually an indicator. Might be an interesting thing to fight about, too. Broken hearts. Disconnects. Three of swords upright. Three of cups reversed. Y'all fighting about somebody wanting to break up? Give me one more. Queen of Swords, somebody might have come clean about something they were doing. Or someone was demanding truth, one of the two. Take it however resonates, put yourself where you see fit. All things kid and maybe vice versa. What's up with this four swords? For the other person.
Wheel of the Year. Ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one, laying it to rest. I don't think I need to reiterate. Do I really need to clarify a Knight of Swords reversed and an Ace of Swords reversed? I don't think I do. Libra, I, I y'all ain't talking. You, the communication stopped. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's, let's make this short, sweet and to the point. All right, why is the Six of Wands here for your current energy? Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Oh my god, where'd it go? I know it's there. Five of Cups. You're still bummed. You're still very much in your feels about it. One more. Knight of Cups. Maybe a new offer coming in. But I don't know. The Six of Wands can represent a return. <clears throat> and this Knight of Cups You see, it's weird. This past event may have left you a little bit damaged. I don't know. I mean, possibly. A little broken hearted. Because, as I see this, this Knight of Cups is looking through the past, like, overlooking things or looking past things toward you. Give me one on this Queen of Pentacles. We'll get back to the Knight of Cups in a second. Give me one on the Queen of Pentacles. The sun, you to catch, baby. The sun is shining in your world. There is a blessed union headed your way. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Oh, my God, I love it. Yes, 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 yes. I almost don't want to get the other person's energy. I mean, they're closing this shit out. <laughs> What's King of Wands here? Oh shit, hangman. Accepting the situation for what it is. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Huh. Well, but, but, Queen of Pentacles, Libra, huh, can I get one on the Six of Pentacles, give me one. Isn't it strange how suddenly become willing to give to something when you see that someone else is doing very well? Hmm. It's interesting. Very interesting. Why is the world here? But they were moving forward. Is this a closeout? The hermits. It's a card of ref self reflection. Walking the path alone. Figuring shit out. One more. K 
King of Cups. He don't wear his heart on on his sleeve, but the emotion is very much there. I think this person may still have some feelings. Hmm. Hmm. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here for Libra's not-so-distant future? Why the Nine of Cups reversed? I don't know how I feel about that. Because you got this shiny new thing coming in. I mean, it's debatable because it is the Knight of Cups bringing it in, and the Knight of Cups doesn't always stick around. Emperor. Could be an Aries. I also have Sagittarius, Virgo. Pisces. Pisces is here twice, by the way. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Also have all the fixed signs. So, Aquarius. Leo. Scorpio. Taurus. <gasps> I got all the fixed signs right. What do you know? I named them all off without missing a beat. It's pretty awesome. One more on this Nine of Cups reversed Emperor. Five of Wands reversed. Some of you may kind of get, like in the future, you're not happy, like you're not fulfilled. You want to come out of conflict with someone? Regain control of the situation? And end a conflict. One more. Eight Pentacles reversed. But you don't know if you want to put energy into it in the future. I don't know if it's worth putting energy into. You just want the fighting to stop. Well, you're kind of mirroring each other a little bit in the future, too, because temperance, it, it's a card of patience. It's a card of leveling off of energies. Clearing of air. Things being more positive. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? The world. Again. Closure. Closure. I think the communication stopped before you got your closure. At the very least. I'm leaving it at that. You're going to get your closure. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here in the future? Kind of distant, not so recent. Four cups reversed. Temperance and the Queen of Wands. They should have been the King of Wands down here. Six of Wands, card of return. Temperance, card of divine timing. Knight of Cups, handing you a cup. Ace of Cups, a new start in love. Four of Cups, not knowing if you want a cup. Three of Pentacles reversed, things not coming together. One more. 
question is, remember the world card. It's a card of closing out cycles, but it's a card of starting new ones as well. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Possibly the lack of fulfillment in the not so distant future is something to do with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. That's super crazy. Huh. But, you know, all things work in divine timing, I guess. You know, if you, if you think time's a thing, some people swear up and down that, you know, time isn't real. It's a man-made construct. None of this is real. Divine timing. It's somebody else's clock. It's not yours. Whatever this was... worked itself out. At least on your side. Some of you might wonder if you want to be the queen to somebody's king. If maybe that would bring you fulfillment since energies are more positive. Why is the hangman reversed here for the other side? Death. Something going into the cocoon to be reborn again. A death cycle. One more. Four ones reversed. Six of swords reversed. Closing the door on something else to return. And to heal. Wow. That took a weird U-turn, but it was cool. It was cool. Hairfin at the bottom of the deck. Strength reversed at the bottom of the deck. Four of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Advice. Sometimes when energies get a little restless, you kind of got to take a step back and allow energies to balance themselves. Four of swords reverse, six, six of swords temperance. You got to allow that time. You got to be patient with the universe sometimes. Things come up. Oh, oh, Ace of Cups! Things work themselves out. Page of Cups, so offers can come in. Ten of Swords is reversed, painful cycles can end, and sun can shine again. Nine of Wands, so you can rise back up. Three of Cups, reunite. Celebrates the world. A lot of old cycles and new cycles to begin. That was beautiful. Wow. Oh, strength reversed. Eight of swords reversed. Four of pentacles reversed. Nine of swords, the tower. Ten of swords, I'm stopping right there.
don't get ahead of yourself when things get heated. But don't hold on to things either. You gotta uh, be careful how you release the demons. Know what I'm saying? Just be mindful of your words. Don't let things consume you. Eight of Swords reversed. Don't get all up in a cage of your own thoughts. And you gotta let things go. Don't hang on to negative energy. Don't let it consume you and keep you up at night. And sometimes towers fall for a reason. And relationships fall apart. So the tower that's supposed to be there can be built. And painful cycles can come to an end and the sun can shine again. Don't emotionally close yourself off to things. Because sometimes... When you're just one cup away, you miss that tenth cup. So, don't be emotionally closed off. Divine timing. High Priest. Nine of Cups reversed. Six of Wands. Magician. Wow. Be careful what you fill your cups with. Be mindful of your attitude. Be careful what you manifest. Meaning, if you manifest a bad ending, that's what you're going to get. Manifest a good ending, that's what you're going to get. <clears throat> and these unions that are in the hands of the universe with this divine timing thing, these things cannot be rushed. And sometimes that's the lesson we got to learn. <clears throat> and sometimes periods of silence allow balance. Oh my God, it showed up in all three decks. Allow balance to return to a situation and old cycles to end. <laughs> Painful ones so the sun can shine again. Timing, 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 timing. Libra, it's all about timing. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Have a hell of a rest of your August. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate you stopping by. I'm doing a bonus round. I'm probably going to take tomorrow off. I have one more reading to do to close the cycle out. I got a couple of personals to do tonight. And I'm probably taking tomorrow off to just veg because I did literally this job and the bread and butter job all weekend. So I'm a little whipped, just saying. But know that you love to be blessed. Thank you again so much for everything. And I will catch you guys next time because there is always a next time.